watching Sleepy Eye Pride News. I'm Emin. Today is Wednesday, April 8th. Wow, halfway through the week already? I feel like it just started. That's probably because it did. I guess you are right. Anyway, let's get to those lunch choices. Caitlin, fill us in. Today's lunch choices will be a favorite. Choice one, beefy nachos, and choice two, chef salad. Well, looks like we have something to look forward to. I know in the weather department, we can't say the same. Things, will, things have been a little cold and dreary lately. Will it get better or worse? Carmen, give us the details. Today will be just as bad, if not worse, than yesterday. We can expect clouds and colder temps with a high of 45 degrees. Temps will feel even cooler with a real peel of 37. Overnight, you might want to stay indoors as temps will approach the low teens. It. When you said the weather wasn't something to look forward to, you weren't kidding. Back to you. Well, that news isn't so great to hear, but maybe this will cheer you up. I hear we have some great news from our sports department. Let's check in with this week's Sports Spot. <laughs> You're probably wondering how Eisen did in the state free throw competition. He did good overall, but got fourth, and he made 20 out of 25 shots. And last, and lost in a shootout against a boy from North Branch, Minnesota, to advance. Also, fifth grade boys and girls had Pacers April 18th. The girls had theirs on April 19th. In other news, Duke won the NCAA. Tournament 68 to 63 against Wisconsin. Both teams were number one seeds. Duke's record was 35 wins and th four losses, and Wisconsin's was 36 wins and four losses. And fun fact: Duke's starting point guard Tyson Jones is from Apple Valley, Minnesota, and, and he's a freshman. Back to you. Congratulations, E Ryzen. We are all rooting for you. It's great to hear so many successes coming out of our school. Reminders for today, MCA testing is well underway. Eat a good breakfast and get plenty of sleep. Also, make sure you be quiet in the halls out of respect for those who are taking the test. We want everyone to do their best on the test. Fifth and sixth grade patrols have a meeting April 10th at 2.30. Also, twins' permission slips are due to the office by April 16th. If you have not turned them in, please do so ASAP. Sleepy Eye Fast Fish Association will hold a pork chop fundraiser Friday, April 10th from 4 to 8. Can contact an ASA player or board member if interested. Finally, any piano player that would like to perform two or three pieces for grandparents, they should sign up in the office by April 15th. Thanks, Caitlin. That wraps up another broadcast here at SEPS. I'm Emma. And I'm Caitlin. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance on the count of three. One, two, three.